Hello, this is Mr. Albamo Dano Brunner. I'm here to show you how you can make a GeoGebra applet in case you want to teach latitude and longitude. To start, you open your GeoGebra Classic software. Just like what I've done, I've opened the GeoGebra Classic software. And then this is the 2D view of GeoGebra. You can see with the 2D view, you can't really show your latitude and longitude. All you need to do is to come to this place and open your 3D view. In 3D view, you can actually see your solid shape, then put your lines of latitude and longitude and the rest. So let's start with this. Okay, so I'll click on the 3D view. You can see the 3D view here, the Z axis, the Y axis, and the X axis. All right. So I don't think I need this one. Let me hide this view. All right, to close this. Let me position the view at the center. Just come to the algebra view. You type your as you are typing center. You see it will come out. You need I want it to be at the middle. So center view, which is uh, this. You open your bracket zero comma zero comma zero. Nice. I want the view to be at the center of the screen. You enter. You can see it rise up a little. Then we start now. So I said I want to explain on latitude and longitude, but I don't want to create my sphere just like that. I want my sphere to follow the normal radius of the Earth, which is uh, 6,400. So if, if I make my sphere on this one, you can see which is center point, center and point, or I just click my sphere. It said I should select the sphere center point, which is always, which will be here now. Then put my radius, if I put my radius of 6400, which is radius of the earth. If you can see that, and it didn't really show as we want it. So what I need to do now, let me close this. Let me delete it. So I need to go to this move view. Let me adjust my axis. Let me adjust this to 6400. Just click and drag down. You can see the numbers is increasing. We are in 10 units scale now. I mean, we can still right click and do the setting, but let me use this one. Let me set it to scale of, let me use 1000 units. All right. Okay, now let me still use gold and let me use 2000 units. All right, okay. So I think this should be okay for me. Okay, I just want the 6000 to appear here. So I do the same for the X and the Z as you just click and drag in. Click and drag in, you achieve what you want. So let me do this fast. So I mean, 1000, let me go to 2000 units. Okay, I'm in 2000 unit. Okay, let me set it. Okay, let's leave it like this. Then let me do the X as is now. Same thing, just click and drag. We'll set it to the scale you want. Okay, I'm in 500 now. 1000, okay, I'm in 2000 now. Okay, let me leave it like this so I can now click on my sphere center and radius I want the center to be here then type my radius which is 6400 so enter now okay so you can see the sphere has come out but you can see this side boiled out let me position it so that it will look like sphere as we want it Okay, let me do this side. T 
think it's nice like this all right this one is okay for us all right so i've done this first so let's you can change the color if you want so let me change the color this is red just click just click on the sphere you come to this place you change the color so let me use color blue then you can reduce the thickness so let me keep it at 10 let me see if this one looks very light i think this should be okay for what we want it's okay let me increase the thickness a little let me leave it at 20 okay let's leave it like this so i don't need the plane just right click let me hide the plane i don't need the plane let the plane go for now i may leave the axis because i may need them to set my point when i'm through with my point i can leave that so the next thing is let me get my polar axis my polar axis the north pole and the south pole all I need to do is I need to create my point on the top and the bead and connect it with a or not connect it with my segment. So just type the polar axis, you open your bracket. Let me use the keyboard here so that you can see it. Just open your bracket. So I need a point of zero comma zero comma then six thousand four hundred. So that is it. You can see that it's positive 6400. That means it's going to be on the top. You click on your enter. Then open bracket again. 0, comma, 0, comma. Then use your negative 6400. Enter. Then next one I need is on my x axis, I want. The point to start there, which is uh, 6400, comma, 0, comma, 0. You can see the point is already showing here, which is going to be just click enter, which is labeled as point D. Okay, I think we are okay with this. So, these are the point. Okay, if you click and drag, you can see the you can move the sphere. Just click and drag it, you can move it around. So here you can see the point B. This point B. Let me drag the label out. Just click and drag, you can bring out the label for you to view. Then point A is at the middle of the circle. You can change the name of each of these points. Just right click, rename. Then change the name. So depend on your question and what how you want your label to be as you are teaching your children in the class. So with these three points I've done, this, this, and this, I can create my latitude line. That is my custom latitude and my custom longitude. Then I can create my polar axis. So with not, with this point gotten now, I can now hide my axis. Just right click, click show axis all the axis we go so you can see that my center point is point a now let's go to segment join the top to down you can see your polar axis have shown but in this case you may not really view it well because i've not put the longitude and the latitude reference line so to get the reference latitude all i need to do now come to this circle then use circle with axis true point so just click on this it will tell you to select the axis i want this center axis click on it to pass through this point so this is my custom latitude at zero degrees so you can see it so with this you can view it well now you can see very nice and neat then you come to this place again look for circumcircular arc you click on this and when you put your mouse there click on it you see it's telling you to select three point on arc this is one beauty of jojibra you can easily learn it by clicking and reach the next step it will tell you what to do so this is your reference 
longitude so both of them are at zero degrees so if you click and move around just click and drag it then remove your hand to be turned around just to demonstrate the rotation of the earth but if you don't want to do that you can do it here just click on this reduce the speed of rotation so you can see how the earth goes round so that is one good thing you can do then you pause or if you want it to turn the other way around go negative direction so you can see it and pause okay so that is that so these are your two reference lines now in case you want to get other custom latitude and longitude it's very simple to do that then if you want to get your let's say you want to put your zero degree no these two lines the reference longitude is zero degrees and the reference latitude is zero degrees so you can put your segment line from the center of the circle to this so this is your zero degrees so you can leave it like this and with this your children you can see even teaching of sphere if you want to teach sphere you can even use this to demonstrate how your sphere look like it's even a nice demonstration then the next thing is our custom latitude and longitude very easy just get a point click on the point click on this so you can drag it up down see and that point let me see the name is point e you can see that is point e then on it use this circle with se uh, center circle with axis through point which is this axis click this you can see it now so you can click and drag you see you are getting your custom latitude so this is latitude north you can see it from zero degrees north you can now connect with your axis from here to here you can put your angle if you want angle this point this point this point you can see the angle is showing is shown there so depend on how you want your angle to show i don't want the alpha to show there the name just click on the angle come to this place click on this i only want the value to show not the label so that is that so you can demonstrate latitude you can just click and drag it see click it put it here you can you can move with your mouse you can move with your mouse you see when you come down you move down this is south this is north you can demonstrate this for your student to see it clearly to make it look real so that is that you can roll it so if you want the angle to show on top you know your latitude angle you want it to show on top this place as it's rising you should see the angle on top especially when you put your custom and longitude so you can do that but let me do the custom longitude first you have a point click on your point let me put it somewhere here then get your second circle through three point this is on this this and this so you can change to differentiate your longitude reference launch that's your prime meridian now to differentiate your prime meridian from the customs you can click on it then change the color let me change the color of that let me use red for example let me increase the thickness let me increase the line thickness to two let me make it seven 
three. Let me change this also. My custom. This is this color. Let me also change the thickness to seven. So differentiate your custom lat uh, prime meridian and latitude from your equator. So this is your equator now to differentiate your equator from other latitude. Then finally, this is your custom prime meridian. So this side is to east. Then this side is to west. Depend on what you want. Then you may want the angle to be on top of this place so that you can see the angle. That one all you just need to do. Come to this place. Just type in. Open your bracket. Start with your zero comma zero comma. Then type in your Z. Then open bracket. Then I want this this point that is moving, which is letter E, capital letter E. You just type it here, then enter. So this is what you just type zero comma zero comma on Z axis and one point E to copy itself there, and that is all. So you can see it here, yeah? then you can now join with your axis. With your segment, so from here to here, then here to here. Hmm. So that you can put your angle of your longitude as it turns around, which is this point to this point to this point. Um, if you don't want the label to show, just click on it, come here, only value, and that is all with the introduction to latitude and longitude. You can demonstrate this to your student. So that is all it is. You can roll it around, put your angle. Let me see which of them. Okay, this is what I want. Okay. This is for the north and south. So this is your custom longitude. You turn 180. You turn west and east. You push it up. You move west. You move east. And the angle will be there. You can see the angle so that you can analyze your turn. You can create, you can pull more point if you want. You can demonstrate your questions if you want. And that is that. So this is all I want to show you in this video. It's as easy like this. Just go through the video and that is that. Then if you want to see your radius, if it's correct to the setting of the axis you do, you did before, just click on this, get your distance, click on this, you will see 6400 will appear there. So that is the radius of the earth. And you can see it keeps going. 6400 is the radius and it should maintain that as long as you go south and north. So that is all. And hope you enjoyed this video. But before I go, I've told you before you can also go to the 